The primary goal of EDLD 5389, the Alternative Professional Learning course, is to develop a alternative professional learning plan. And that's broken down into three components. Um, you have a call to action perspective. You have a planning stage where you take a look at your three column table and a plan. And the reason I'm scrolling down through this page is that um, yeah, you've got an outline or your blueprint or plan, and then you pull out and build out the whole strategy or plan. So you've got three key components. Um, in this particular student example, um, they're presenting their entire plan. This is the whole plan, which is presented at the end of term. And this would be a final compilation post or page where all the pieces come together. Okay. And so the reason I'm showing you this particular example is that this student had really pulled everything together exceptionally well. You know, they focus on professional learning. They've got a link to their innovation plan, um, what they hope to do, the why, what, the how comes uh, a little bit later. Um, they're looking to transform uh, the learner's experience. They emphasize the five key principles of, of professional development, of professional learning, right? The ongoing duration, specific support throughout the implementation, um, active, dynamic, engaging, modeling, these, you know, three and four, these are actually inverted, but they, they focus on two of these key ideas. And then your professional learning happens within the context of with, uh, which it will be uh, realized or lived. So that's an important factor. Uh, this student uh, is from the ADL stream and they are making a connection to their implementation outline, which they developed in, in their original innovation planning process. They talk about a variety of other things like being a self-differentiated lear learner. So they're making connections to all the things that they have explored and researched. And then as they present their plan, you'll see that it's got different stages and different phases. Um, they have a bit of a flow chart here that identifies um, how they're going to roll out their plan in Google Classroom. So they're making a connection to Google Classroom. They've got different stages. There's different Google classes that they're going to take the people through. So this is, this is a full implementation. This is what you submit for your final uh, compilation post in the course, uh, regardless what stream that you're coming through. Um, and they make all the connections that are necessary. They talk about the different phases. And, and this is what they're going to actually take their audience through. Um, this is sort of a summary piece at the end that uh, will help you um, or your user or their user to take a look at where they're at. Now, this is the overall final compilation post where all the pieces come together. I want to focus on the call to action stage, um, which is the first activity or assignment that happens within the course. And this is where you have the opportunity to create a video, um, touch on the why, the what, the how, and, you know, really make a case for alternative professional learning. So in this particular instance, the, the video um, is a uh, very helpful video that uses a lot of images. Um, it, uh, I'm just going to turn down the volume here. Um, it, it really allows the uh, narrator to focus on key ideas. It introduces the five key principles. Um, and it, you know, it's an opportunity to tell a story here. So the, the video or the slide deck is really powerful and encouraging. The why is connected to the personal story. Why are you doing this? How this person wanted to improve advising. You'll notice that this student isn't in a traditional learning environment, but yet they are building and guiding and directing professional learning within their environment. So, it, you know, you don't always have to be a traditional classroom teacher to be able to do professional development. There's many other corporate aspects of training where this will apply. Um, they they talk about the five key principles. They make a connection to the, the innovation uh, plan. So a lot of information here, they included the script. They, they talked about how they were to build it, how all the pieces came together, the planning process. This is very, very detailed, very, very exhaustive. Um, and they did a great job. APA references are included. So this would be an example, a wonderful example of that call to action, regardless of what stream that you are in. So the second activity or assignment within the course is building out your outline or your blueprint or, you know, that planning stage before you build out all the pieces. And so when we take a look at this, you'll see that, again, this is connected to the innovation plan. Um, there's a discussion about creating that significant learning environment. Um, and then you've got different stages and phases of the plan. There's links back to the call to action. So this reminds the audience of, of how this is all connected. And you see the different stages here within this presentation. 
organization. Uh, you can download the actual document. Uh, so there's there's a lot of information. Also, you've got more of an extended written component here as well that talks about the resources. You've got the timeline um, that makes a connection. And so it, that little slide deck was further expanded. So um, you have an opportunity to really take a look at how the stages come together, the different phases. And again, this is very different than some other people have done. A lot of people will do a straight timeline in a um, um, outline phase you know so this but this is very detailed this is very exhaustive and this was actually used uh, there's a connection to the instructional design component or the three column, column table um, where you've got your learning outcomes that are established that are going to be used um, you know so you've got the, the the six different or five or six different levels of the the learning outcomes that um, help you uh, focus on uh, where you're going to be taking your learner through this uh, learning process. So the three column table is there, all the pieces are in place, um, and this, this becomes a separate page within that final plan. So when we go back to the uh, previous page, then you take a look at the actual strategy. How do all the pieces come together? Okay, uh, Team building, uh, there's uh, the, she's going to be working in uh, Google so this sort of points to you know the, the realization of Google what's going to be inside the classroom view now this is sort of the Google classroom part but if we go back to the previous page this is the whole plan okay so there's a lot of flexibility you, you can see the different planning stages and then this is how it's going to be realized so you know the the outline that was uh, shared in that second assignment uh, this is a full realization of that outline so this is unique to um, a corporate setting um, i want to show you a couple other examples and stress um, some of the differences and some of the similarities and point out some of the strengths. So overall, this is a wonderful example of a lot of work, a lot of detail, a lot of linking to work that makes it easy to follow. Uh, references are always in place. Uh, APA formatting for the most part is followed in terms of citation and references. So I think we've got a really solid foundation. Now, if we take a look at another example of a final compilation post, um, this particular student um, had a couple of paragraphs of an introduction. They, too, make a connection to their innovation plan. Uh, so when you click on it, it's easy to see what that innovation plan is and the details that are there. It's easy for me to navigate back. Getting back to their final compilation page, they point to their call to action uh, video um, where they, they share the video, the why, the what, the how. Really solid, short video uh, focuses on that call to action. So and there's an explanation how things were pulled together. Um, you know, you also have references on this page. So you're, if you're noticing there's a bit of a trend, everything is cited, everything is referenced, everything is linked. Um, and, and the strength here is the brevity, right? Everything is really easy to follow, it's short, it's concise, brevity is, is taken advantage. You know, the planning stage, you know, you've got different, uh, you know, it's pointing to a Google document, which is an outline. You can actually take a look at it in greater detail. It, it's there. So um, this, this all comes together quite, uh, quite well. And then the, um, as I had mentioned earlier, the final compilation page is what is being presented, right? So you've got this outline, you've got the overview, and then you've got the presentation of the resources, how things fall into place. Um, and in this instance, says they're doing a uh, boombox bundle. So you can call your you know, your plan, whatever you want. So again, this is an example of the final compilation page, uh, really pulling pieces together um, and, and the different resources, different documents that are going to be used in the plan. So this is essentially is almost an annotated bibliography of resources that will be used in in the presentation and in the in the development. Right. And then the um, um, oh, uh, contributions to learning. My mistake. I wanted to go to the boombox babble. Okay, so unfortunately, I, the reason I'm pointing this: if you're going to be using Google Slides or other things, you want to make sure that access is given. Um, so be careful. Make sure that you set the permission permission so that everybody can see it, um, so that that doesn't take away from your users. Experience. Um, I want to point to uh, another student example, and the strength here with this student example is their call to action, their why, the what, the how, and the video. This is a wonderfully creative, 
interesting video that reflects this unique um, individual. This is a classroom teacher, a uh, traditional classroom teacher. And so they're, they're, they're sharing their insights. They're, this is their call to action. They're appealing to their audience. And then they talk about how all these pieces come together. This is the final compilation post. They have an example of how PD should be done. And they provide an overview of how the PD can come together. They've got references as well. Um, and they argue why it should be done this way. Now, this isn't the best realization of all the pieces, but a lot of work was put into it. And essentially, this vi this video compilation here um, is a, a start of how they're going to be doing the PD versus the problem with the current PD that is highlighted here. This is unique. Um, the emphasis I'm showing you here, this is a wonderful call to action. The other pieces came together okay. Could have been better. Could have been better. Um, another example of a... Uh, called a, a, a final compilation post is um, this student's site. Um, they pulled all the pieces together. They're pointing to a uh, presentation that you have here. It's all, it's all a slide deck. So all the components in the slide deck, they chose to do a slide deck as opposed to create a video. But they do have a video uh, where they deal with the story behind the story. Okay, so they do a story behind the story in the video. This particular student collaborated with several others. And this is the final compilation post. So they talk about their standards, their guides, how they're going to empower the teachers, right? Um, they, they point to different things that they're, they're pulling together. One of the things I want to highlight here is, um, so, um, what I want to share here or emphasize, um, the final compilation uh, page, I think, pulls together the pieces. The timeline here was done in a unique way. There's sort of a broader overview in terms of phases, and then it was built out in terms of a Gantt chart. So th this is quite the structure of showing the overview. And perhaps one of the most important things was looking at the course resources. And, um, you know, when you, when you click on that, I believe it's going to take you, yeah. So these are the different resources that they're going to use with, um, within the course. And the other thing was, uh, and this was really quite exhaustive, a list of video resources they hope to use or plan to use within within their uh, work and the presentation of the PL. So a, a lot of work went into this, um, and, and this worked out quite well. This did actually worked out quite well um, in terms of, oh, I went back the wrong way. Let me just hit the back button here. Um, so each of these has strengths. The... Um, First one, I think overall is probably, you know, addresses every single component. This one has got a wonderful uh, compilation page that leads you to different components, nice and brief, easy to follow. Um, we had a, a uh, wonderfully entertaining um, video in this call to action. And then some of the details in terms of the planning, the structure, the resources, I think were highlighted in this particular example. So uh, very, very different examples. A couple of students were re traditional teachers. The other students, one, one person was working in a publishing company. The other person was working in an advising area of registrar's office. So different examples. So this is a little bit of a long video, but at the same time, I'm covering all three assignments within um, this particular uh, course and ultimately what you are working towards is this final presentation. This is a, a alternative professional learning plan that you hope to impl implement based on the five key principles um, and then you're going to build out your resources if you happen to be working in um, 5318 at the same time or you have or you're going to take 5318 the work you do on your online course can be fully integrated here which is what we see here as well so hopefully i provided an overview of um, how this project can be realized um, and how different it can be and it doesn't matter what stream you're in whether it's adl ed tech or the leadership stream you're building a professional learning plan that will follow these five key principles that are very, very different than what traditionally happens.